student so in the previous class we have discussed about computer network there we can see two kind of computer network one is client or server model another is what that is peer to peer model okay so what is a client or server model that we can see there there is a main fixed server room or control room from this room the whole data can be shared to each each and every computer okay so that means the all data that we have in a central room in a server room the all user can use by this main server room and each and every person who are staying in this office or who are using the several computer the all person at a together time they can use this data from a server room or they can store there and again other was what peer to peer model so peer to peer model that mean what there are Uh, extra extra computer having CPU, but each and every computer are interconnected. Okay, they are connected to each other, and one work station can share this same data to any other work station nearby there. Okay, so peer to peer model is uh, mainly useful in very small business or very small purpose. And this other other was what that was client server model. Uh, that system is uh, mainly useful for a big project. okay so let us today discuss about this advantage and this advantage of computer network so first you look at advantage so what are the advantage of computer network okay so number one file can be stored on a central computer that means there is a central server room main server room where all the files and data can be stored and at the same time the all person who are using the computer who are involved in this project or in this office they can use this data at the same time by a main server room okay number two easy to share so the files in other data whatever are there very easy to share to each other no need to work how in a office the office bearer or the other peon they used to send file to each other so here Like that, no need to room. So what have to do? That by this computer network, we can share the data easily to each another. Okay. Again, see number three. Devices such as printer and scanner can be shared. So in this system, in computer network, no need to buy so many printer or scanner. If there is a one fixed printer or scanner, the same time the all person can print by this one printer. Okay. in a office if there is only one printer and there are 1000 computer then also the all person can print by this one printer okay so that mean no need to buy so many printer so one printer or one or two printer is very uh, equal to each another every person can use this same device okay now see here number 4 files can be put on central server and backup is very easy so there is a server room so keeping a data or sharing a data is very easy and we can backup the data very quickly from this server room so these are this advantage of computer network okay so let now let us see this advantage of computer network so there are so many advantages but uh, in every project there are this this advantage also so let me see here number 1 very costly so this network system is very costly to install whenever we install a computer network we need more money to buy several kind of computers again server room the server room should be in ac that mean air conditioner again we need to buy hub cable this kind of so many material or hardware we have to buy so that time we have to spend more money okay that's why it is very costly number two if the server break down file become inaccessible that means if the server is break down if any problem for electricity or in any kind of uh, problem if the server or this main central room will break down or it is does not work the whole data sometimes it may be erased or we cannot access to this data okay that is the main problem of this computer network system in server model okay again number 
virus and malware can enter. So in this system, what happened? We have to use so many computers, and we are there are connected so many devices. That's why the virus in other malware they can enter in computer very quickly and easily also. So that is the main problem also. So whenever this virus or malware can enter in our main server room, the data can be uh, the data will be shared to a third party or the, uh, the a third party or hackers they can steal the, our data from our main server room and the data also will be erased also sometimes okay so these are this uh, this one is also a disadvantage of computer network and number uh, last is what hacking of computer data so this third party or the hackers they can easily hack our computer data from this networking system because we have to use so many computers in its in a same building or in a same project and the all computers and devices are connected to each other to a main server room so what happened whenever any hackers or any third party they they enter in our network they can steal our data or they can erase our data also so this one also is a major problem of computer network okay so students, so these were this advantage and this advantage of computer network. So hope you have understand. So in the next class, we will discuss uh, the remaining topic from our chapter one. So till then, take care. Thank you.